All right, welcome back to Midday, everybody. We are crowded into the kitchen we over there to tell you busy. well about a big event coming up this weekend. It is the sixth annual Craft Lake City. So big last year, Angela, that you went from one day to two days, so two days again this year. Uh, we also have Chef Johnny from Harmon's. Hey, because Johnny. Hey, you'll Johnny. be there. You'll be there, too, be this there. weekend. Why are you going to be there? Because we have a booth. <laughs> We're doing a whole bunch of fun stuff, actually. We've okay. Got, uh, nice cold coffee floats, root beer floats with uh, Brigham's Brew. We've got artisan breads. Ah. We'll have all kinds of of local cheeses, variety of different gelatos that we'll be serving, going to be a blast. And everything that we actually earn from our tent is a 100% donation to the Utah Food Bank. So we come in and, mm -hmm. and I want to buy a root beer float, which I'm going to make for us yes. now. Um, and how much would something like this cost? I believe right now for the event, it's going to be $2.50, if I'm not mistaken. And then your Don't money quote. goes to the food bank. Yeah. I love that idea. Oh, look Johnny, how good um, Troy, is. when you started pouring, Johnny went like this. Yeah, did he? <laughs> like, are you, like, I are got you scared. serious? <laughs> I, hey, I'm how, with you. Look how gorgeous that's looking. You did a good job. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. And then this is a what, float? That's or going to coffee? be a cold, uh, cold coffee float, yeah. My I, personal favorite. I love America. Do, like yes. Do you like this? Who's for a cup of coffee? Right, Joe to go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. you need, you're all hopped up on caffeine. Yeah, well, exactly. when you're trying to hit 200 vendors at the festival, you know, you might need a Well, tell us a little bit about the festival, what's going on there. What I love the, the, about it is that you've actually got a kids section. We do. And kids crafts as well. We do. So it's all local artisans. You actually have to live within the state walls in order to participate in Craft Lake City. We have walls here. Yeah. <laughs> we should design curtains. Yeah, and, you know, and then we've got that kids area like you talked about. And then, of course, the craft food vendors like Harmons are presenting a sponsor that are selling small artisanal locally sourced um, sustainable food items. I love it. Can I tell you, I'm so excited. An entire street closed off just for food vendors. Really? Are you Come kidding? You didn't even your trucks. space. <laughs> All right, so we've talked food. What about the music and the yes, entertainment? Yes, so over two, 52 local performers on two stages. Again, all Utah talent um, for free. So no, Free to is, get in? Free to get in. all free. Oh, wow. This is I all free. You know. can make donations when you're there. And, of course, when you buy the food, don't forget the money's going to the food bank. I bag. love the idea of it being free. Mm -hmm. I love yeah, that. Do It Yourself Festival. What are some of your favorite booths, Angela? Oh, my goodness. You know, Susan from Freshly Picked that makes baby moccasins. She's out of Utah County. Her stuff is just to die for. Really? Um, we actually have a Provo, or pardon me, a, um, a Cedar City artisan that comes up that makes old style wooden children's toys, like blocks and things. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Of course, we have upcycled vintage vendors. I mean, then of course, the craft foodies that are making, um, you know, small batches of cheese and things like that. So oh, there's something for everyone. I love that cheese yeah. idea. You, just you, love. Just because you're not eating right now, yeah, I think you'd have be loving that. anything. Six years. Why is this so successful here in Utah? Because we have such a wonderful, wonderful community of artists. I mean, yeah. Utah really is just blooming with all kinds of arts, any variety, whatever it is that you're looking for, and it'll be here. Well, and this City. event celebrates, you're right, that local artist, but also supports them. So yes. don't forget to go and give your support. This is coming up on Friday, August 8th. It's also on Saturday, August 9th. The time's on your screen. It's at the Gallivan Center, and again, that street right by there shut down. I love it with all the food. It's free admission. Presented by Harmons. Go to our website for all of the information. I think with all this planning, Angela um, might need that coffee. She might. Yeah. Yeah. And Nisha, I want to ask that. you, what have we got here? What is this? Oh, this yes. is all the variety of different gelatos we're going to have. Yeah. No, I oh, don't, they're beautiful. You can't eat it, no, so I feel bad. Don't feel bad. No, Troy, I feel terrible. <laughs> don't feel terrible. Johnny, will you get some too? This yeah. is blood oil. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to eat a piece so of much. bread, actually. I appreciate that. You can't have bread either, right? Angela, thank you. I will be soon. Glenn and Emily, there's one for you. I will be. We're right there. Chef Johnny takes care of us. We appreciate that. We're on our way.